Hello guys, what's up? This is Sir EG and welcome again to another math tutorial. In today's topic, we will be discussing the general form of the equation of a circle. Let's have the following objectives in today's topic. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to Letter A, illustrate general equation of a circle. Letter B, write the general form of the equation of a circle. And letter C, appreciate the use of equation of a circle in finding solutions to real life problems and decision making. So let's have the general equation of a circle. The general equation of a circle is in the form of x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to zero where d, e, and f are real numbers. This equation is obtained by expanding the standard form of the equation of a circle. Quantity x minus h to the second power plus the quantity of y minus k to the second power equals r to the second power. Let's have our first example. The center of a circle is at the origin and its radius is 6 units. What is the general equation of the circle? Let's list down first the following given. So the center of the circle is at the origin, meaning to say it has a coordinates of 0, 0, and the radius of the circle is equal to 6 units. To get the general equation of the circle, we will get first the standard equation of the circle, then we will expand the standard equation. Since the center is at the origin, we will use the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. We will bring down x squared plus y squared equals the value of our radius is equal to 6 raised to the second power. And then we will simplify bring down x squared plus y squared equals 6 to the second power or 6 times 6 is equal to 36. And then after that, we will get the general equation. So to get the general equation, we will just equate the equation by 0. Meaning to say, we will transpose positive 36, it will become negative 36. So the general equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared minus 36 equals 0. Let's have our second example. Write the general form of the equation of a circle with center 5 negative 2 and a radius of negative 3. Let's list down first the given. So we have the center of the circle with a coordinates of 5 and negative 2 wherein the value of h is equal to 5, the value of k is equal to negative 2, and the value of our radius is equal to negative 3. To solve for the general equation of the circle, we must compute first the standard equation of the circle. We will use the center radius form of the circle or the formula the quantity of x minus h to the second power plus the quantity of y minus k to the second power equals r to the second power. And then after that, we will substitute the corresponding value. We will bring down the quantity of x minus the value of h will be equal to positive 5 raised to the second power plus the quantity of bring down y minus the value of k is equal to negative 2 raised to the second power equals the value of r is equal to negative 3 raised to the second power. And then we will simplify, bring down x minus 5 to the second power plus the quantity of y and then negative times negative will be equal to positive 2 raised to the second power 
equals negative 3 to the second power is equal to positive 9. So this will be the standard form of the equation of the circle. After we have compute for the standard form of the equation of the circle, we will expand this equation to get the general form of the equation of the circle. Let's now get the general equation of the circle. So we have the quantity of x minus 5 to the second power plus the quantity of y plus 2 to the second power equals 9. Let's use first FOIL method to expand the equation. So we have x minus 5 to the second power. So this will be the quantity of x minus 5 times x minus 5. Plus, we have y plus 2 to the second power. This will be the quantity of y plus 2 times y plus 2. And then positive 9, we will transpose it to the other side of the equation. It will become negative 9 equals 0. And then we will multiply x times x will be equal to x squared and then x times negative 5 is equal to negative 5x negative 5 times x will be equal to negative 5x and then negative 5 times negative 5 will be equal to positive 25 plus y times y will be equal to y squared y times 2 will be equal to positive 2y 2 times y will be equal to positive 2y and then 2 times 2 will be equal to 4 minus 9 and then after that we will combine like terms so we have copy x squared and then negative 5x plus negative 5x will be equal to negative 10x and then again bring down y squared plus 2y plus 2y will be equal to 4y and then positive 25 plus 4 will be equal to positive 29. 29 minus 9 will be equal to 20. And then after that, we will arrange the equation in the format of the general equation x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So the general equation will be in the form of x squared plus y squared followed by negative 10x plus 4y plus the constant 20 equals 0. So the general form of the equation of a circle with center 5 negative 2 and a radius of negative 3 is x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 4y plus 20 equals 0. Let's have our next example. Write the general form for the equation of a circle with the center of negative 1, negative 3, and a radius of negative 2 square root of 3. Let's list down the following given first. The center of the circle is at the coordinates negative 1, negative 3, and the value of h is equal to negative 1. The value of k is equal to negative 3 and the radius of the circle is equal to negative 2 square root of 3. To get the general form of the equation of the circle, we must first get the standard equation of the circle by using the center radius form in which it states that the quantity of x minus h to the second power plus the quantity of y minus k to the second power equals r to the second power. All we need to do is to substitute the corresponding values. So we have the quantity of x minus the value of h which is equal to negative 1 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y minus the value of k is equal to negative 3 raised to the second power equals the value of r is equal to negative 2 square root of 3 raised to the second power and then we will simplify bring down x negative times negative 1 will be equal to positive 1 raised to the second power plus the quantity of bring down y negative times negative 3 will be equal to positive 3 raised to the second power equals negative 2 square root of 3 raised to the second power will be equal to negative 2 times negative 2 which is equal to positive 4 and then square root of 3 to the second power 
square root and squared will be cancelled out, then it will be equal to 3. And then after that, we will simplify. We will just multiply 4 times 3. So the answer will be equal to 12. Therefore, the standard equation of the circle is the quantity x plus 1 to the second power plus the quantity y plus 3 to the second power equals 12. Next, to get the general form of the equation of the circle, we will expand the standard equation of the circle. So let's try to get the general equation. Let's now expand the equation by using the special product sum of two squares. So all we need to do is to square the first term, meaning to say x times x will be x squared. And then after that, to get the second term, we will multiply the value of the first term and the value of the second term times 2. So we have x times 1 will be equal to x and then x times 2 will be equal to 2x. And then to get the third term, we will square the second term. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Plus, we will repeat the process. y times y will be equal to y squared. And then y times 3 will be equal to 3y times 2 will be equal to 6y. And then 3 times 3 will be equal to 9. And then positive 12, we will transpose it. It will become negative 12 equals 0. And then after that, we will just combine the like terms. Bring down x squared plus 2x plus y squared plus 6y. And then add the constant term. So we have 1 plus 9 plus negative 12 is equal to negative 2 equals 0. And then after that, we will arrange this in the form of x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. So we have x squared plus y squared plus 2x followed by positive 6y minus 2 equals 0. So the general form of the equation of a circle with center negative 1, negative 3, and a radius of negative 2 square root of 3 is x squared plus y squared plus 2x plus 6y minus 2 equals 0. Let's have our last example. Write the general form of the equation of a circle with center 6, 7 and a radius of 8. Let's list down the following given. The center of the circle is at the coordinate 6, 7, and the value of the radius is equal to 8, wherein h is equal to 6 and k is equal to 7, and then the value of the radius is equal to 8. To get the general form of the equation of a circle, we must first find the standard equation of the circle by using the center radius form the quantity of x minus h to the second power plus the quantity y minus k to the second power equals r to the second power. And then we will substitute the corresponding value, the quantity of x minus the value of h which is equal to 6 raised to the second power plus the quantity of y minus the value of k which is equal to 7 raised to the second power equals the value of r which is equal to 8 raised to the second power and then after that we will simplify 8 to the second power is equal to 64 therefore the standard form of the equation of the circle is the quantity x minus 6 to the second power plus the quantity y minus 7 to the second power equals 64 so let's now get the general form of the equation of the circle we will expand the quantity x minus 6 to the second power plus the quantity y minus 7 to the second power equals 64. We will use the special product sum of two squares. We will square the value of the first term. So x times x will be equal to x squared. And then we will multiply x times negative 6. The answer will be equal to negative 6x. Then we will multiply it by 2. So the answer will be equal to negative 12x. And then after that, we will square the second term which is equal to negative 6. Negative 6 to the second power is equal to positive 36. And then we will repeat the process. The square of y is equal to y squared. And then y times negative 7 is negative 7y. 
times 2 will be equal to negative 14y. And then we will square negative 7. Negative 7 to the second power is positive 49. We will transpose positive 64. It will become negative 64. And then we will equate the equation by 0. And then after that, we will combine like terms. Bring down x squared minus 12x plus y squared minus 14y. And then we will combine 36 plus 49 minus 64, which is equal to positive 21, equals 0. And then we will arrange the equation according to the general form of the equation of the circle x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f is equal to 0. And the equation will be x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 14y plus 21 equals 0. Therefore, the general form of the equation of a circle with center 6, 7 and a radius of 8 is x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 14y plus 21 equals 0.